nine new Supreme Court judges to be sworn in tomorrow, including three women judges. And today, in a farewell speech at the Karnataka High Court, we got to listen to what Justice B.V. Nagaratna feels about her journey so far to the Supreme Court. 58-year-old Justice B.V. Nagaratna said to be sworn in as a judge of the Supreme Court along with eight others. Her elevation will make history as she will become the first woman Chief this Justice of India in 2027, following in the footsteps of her father, E.S. Venkat Ramaya, Chief Justice of India between June and December 1989. Chief Justice of At her farewell, the Karnataka High Court judge spoke about the importance of the Constitution and encouraged women advocates to believe in themselves. I have often wondered as to what binds us together, despite the innumerable diversities. It is my firm conviction that one of the binding factors is the Indian constitution, a legal system committed to rule of law and an organized hierarchy of courts with the Supreme Court at the apex. The message which I give to women advocates from this leaf in my book is to take note of the access to the right opportunities. Each one of you can achieve your dreams if you do so. I therefore urge each one of you to seek out these opportunities armed with faith in yourself and stride ahead to achieve all that you want to go to do and also to give back to society. Justice B.B. Nagaratna will create many records. She will be the first woman Chief Justice of India in 2027. She will become part of the first father-daughter duo to have been Chief Justice of India and she will also be part of the first father-daughter duo to be judges of the Supreme Court. Justice B.V. Nagaratna was born on the 30th of October 1962 in the Mandya district of Karnataka. She went to Sophia High School in Bengaluru and Bharatiya Vidya Bhavan in New Delhi. She studied history honours at Jesus and Mary College in Delhi University and then pursued law at the Campus Law Centre in New Delhi. She started practising law in 1987 in Bengaluru. Her areas of legal practice included arbitration, land acquisition, service law, family law, administrative law, constitutional law and commercial law. As a student of history honors in Jesus and Mary College, New Delhi, history being one of my favorite subjects, the other being law, I completed my graduation. The subject, apart from aiding to the frame of my thinking, has imparted a tremendous impact on me as a judge and in my judgment writing. While hearing a divorce petition in December last year, she said, India's patriarchal society does not know how to treat empowered women. Parents don't teach their sons how to treat an empowered woman. Earlier this year, while hearing a case on midday meals, Justice Nagaratna said, Nobody can study on a hungry stomach and rejected a state government proposal to withdraw midday meals in schools in COVID hotspots. For Justice B.V. Nagaratna, life has come full circle. One of the best decisions of my life was to return from Delhi to Bengaluru to enroll myself as an advocate in the Karnataka Bar Council and commence my practice here. This was in order to maintain the highest traditions of the judiciary. In as much as I did not wish to reside in the government accommodation allotted to my father, Justice E.S. Venkatramaya, who was then a judge of the Supreme Court at Delhi and practiced there. Now I find that the circle is being completed. With Sukirti Dvivedi in New Delhi, Anusya Mathur for NDTV.